Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another American Eagle video for you here. Um, this might be a serious crowd favorite. Um, the outfit I have on actually is from American Eagle and I bought it forever ago. I bought it like over the winter time and um, I think it was like a clearance outfit. So it's like this little denim skirt. They have nice denim skirts. They have a lot of different colors, but this one um, is starting to run a little bit big on me. So I decided I would pop it on for the video. Um, but overall, they are, you know, cute little denim skirts, my friends. But um, the top is from them too. It's got like this thing that ties around. It's cute. But anyway, I, I don't know if it's on the website anymore, which is why we're not really focusing on it right now. But um, I got my eyebrows done the other day. See them? I talked about them in the vlog. I did a whole vlog about it, but I can't wear real makeup, so um, bear with the mostly bare face that you're looking at right now. Um, I like this angle better. I wanted to ask, um, I ended up ordering a ton of swimsuits from different places, uh, straight size plus brands that do both, international. I was gonna save them because we're going to the Dominican in about a week and I was gonna film while I was out there and I was gonna take like all 30 with me but then I was like maybe I should film them now while the kids are in camp and I can't work out because it's stupid brows so I'm gonna have like all this free time at home and I was like maybe I should film them now for you guys because the sooner you get them you know the sooner you see the video the sooner you can buy the suit and you know hopefully it's still available and everything so if you guys don't care about all the aesthetics and all that let me know and just tell me film them now versus film them later so let's jump into this video though because oh, it just came last night and i'm so excited i got some of the sizes wrong but i'm gonna head to the mall today to switch them out but i thought i'd show you first hi oh sorry before i get into all this stuff if you guys didn't know american eagle um goes up to a size 20 but you do have to go online for those extended sizes they also have like short and tall and i think extra tall and even with bathing suits they have like longer torso bathing suits they are pretty uh size inclusive for a straight size brand so for a brand that doesn't actually carry plus size i would say they do a great job of having a lot of different lengths and fits um, so American Eagle is one of my favorite brands ever at this point um, But I ordered my stuff online and they also go up to a double XL But you got to get that online But um, some of the stuff that I got today is a little bit big for me and I got it in a double XL So like these items I'm gonna be taking to the mall right after I'm done filming this so that I can try to exchange them because I think they're cute But they don't fit me quite right and those items like when I take them to the mall and I return them or whatever I get a different size they keep them at the store, you know, so if you wear a bigger size, you can always go into American Eagle and go to the clearance section and a lot of times they have like returns back there and then, you know, not only are they in your size, but they're discounted, which is fun all around. But anyway, now let's go ahead. Um, this is regularly, I think $45, this romper. Um, this romper with pockets, they should charge $20 extra just for the fact that it has pockets because so many people don't give us pockets in this world. Somebody in the comments the other, the other day was like, um, why do people care about pockets? Don't you have things that you carry? I want my hands free. What if I need to like get into something crazy? Uh, uh. You never know, right? Like I can't have my phone in my hand. Risk breaking it, it costs like $1,900. No, I need a pocket for that phone. So um, they're great. I did get this on sale though. They have, they, American Eagle always has sales, but a lot of times they're only online, which is irritating. But if you know your size, which apparently, I don't, <laughs> but if you know your size, then it actually isn't so bad. This romper was listed at 45, just shy of $45, but I only paid 33, I think, cause I don't know how much it was off, maybe 30% or something. I'm not doing that kind of math right now, but it's so cute, guys. And it has these ruffles on the bottom, which I feel make it look kind of like a child's romper, but those ruffles are functional because they give you that extra length so that your legs and your butt like, are not overly exposed in the back. The whole back is elastic, so it's nice and stretchy. Can definitely accommodate a much bigger bust than what I'm rocking right now, um, but I don't think it looks bad on a smaller bust either. I guess you could be the judge of that. The color is kind of a mix between like black and gray. Like, I don't know what color to call it. When I look at it closely, it just looks black, but from afar it looks gray, almost kind of blue, so <laughs> not sure. This is fake. This is just for fakesies, just for funsies. And it's just overall really cute. It's not stretchy, but it is flowy. So, eh, you know, I guess take that into account. It doesn't stretch, 
but I don't feel like it needs to stretch. The only part that stretches is the top, like I said, because this is all elastic, so this is all stretchy. But, my friend, what do we think about this romper for romper season? Romper season is upon us. Are you a romper person? I'm a romper person, through and through. Like, what? I think I pack one thing, and my whole outfit is complete. Complete. With pockets. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Guys, I bought six different pairs of shorts because so many of you asked me to try the shorts and when I try the shorts, I try the shorts. So we're gonna start with this pair before I pop them on, I just wanna read them to you. It says they're a midi, <laughs> LOL. Um, next level stretch X and these I got in a size 18 and it says they are a low rise, which low rise usually means Hell no, we won't go. Okay, not this body, but um, tried these on last night and I don't hate them, okay? I, I, I kinda like them, they might be my favorites, I don't know. But um, the shorts, I'll tell you in a second how much they cost, but this little top, I have to show this to you first, it's so cute, you guys, like I love this. You could theoretically flip it and cover your other arm, but um, I thought it'd be cute covering this arm, but like some of you guys have tattoos and stuff or whatever, like my friend has a tattoo on her shoulder, but it's on this shoulder, I believe, like so I could see her flipping it so that, you know, the tattoo's out, whatever. So you could flip it if you wanted to. I got this in an XL. It's very big it's like you know very much oversized kind of top um i probably could have done the large so if you're in between or maybe you know your size is sold out you can probably go down without an issue um and it's just so cute and they have this in a bunch of different colors it's just like so loose and flowy and we're going to like well we're going to the dominican next week and then in a couple weeks we're going to uh panama and i'm like this i could see wearing in Panama, like, hi, hola, what do they speak in Panama, just Spanish or something else? <laughs> These shorts though, my friends. Hi, welcome to the party that is Sarah's new favorite pair of denim shorts. So a lot of my shorts are running a little bit big now, my Charlotte Russe Rue 21 Forever 21 shorts. Makes me kind of sad, because I just bought them, and they're lovely, but makes me kind of happy, because you guys, the closet sale is gonna be Poppin', my friends. You have no idea. And most of the crap that you've seen me buy in the last couple of months is probably gonna be in that closet sale just because it's not quite working for me right now. But um, these shorts, hello, honey, what? Look, the pockets are so long they hang out. Like, I know some people love that look, right? I don't know how I feel about it personally. I like to put stuff in the pocket, so I don't like that it hangs out. Like, what if there's a hole? My stuff's just gonna be hanging out the bottom. But they fit so nicely, you guys, like, oh, they fit so nicely. I mean, I don't hate what it's doing to my butt. I don't hate that. I almost always love American Eagle and like how their jeans look on my butt. I just feel like they're very flattering. These ones are a little bit on the shorter side for sure. In the back, they look shorter than in the front. But it looks like there's about one and a half, two inches back here. Um, once you get past like cheek, but in the front, the inseam is actually feels like closer to like four inches but the um distressing comes up pretty far so uh i just you got low rise what this is not low rise don't call this low rise my belly button disappeared my belly button is not low okay <laughs> these are high rise i don't care how you want to label them and they're beautiful okay this is going to be kind of confusing to try to read you guys the actual individual price for everything like i said it was all on sale but the, for the jean shorts i pretty much paid between 35 and 28 dollars um, except for the couple that were on clearance. So they have jean shorts on clearance. They don't have any that are in a size 20. I don't know if it's new that they're doing their um, shorts in a 20 or what, but none of their clearance shorts go up to a 20. But they do have um, different denim and stuff. I purchased some of it, but um, these are all pretty much labeled the same thing. So I will have all the links down in the description box though, like I always do. So if you want to get any of these things, get your little paws on them before the sizes go away. I'll link them down below and just so you know if you are on the bigger side and you wear a size closer to mine you know what I mean I mean the bigger side of American Eagle at least guys a lot of people don't buy these online I don't know why maybe they don't know they're there even though I scream it from the mountaintops American Eagle makes stuff for fat people but anyway I try to tell you guys but not everybody listens so um yeah my size is like almost always available which is beautiful Beautiful! Round of applause! Hi friends! If you guys didn't know, I'm a mom. 
mom, mom, mom. I hear that like 9,000 times a day, right? So I decided to pick up the mom short because I was like, oh, what is a mom short? What do dad shorts look like? I bet they're cargo shorts. They got a lot of pockets. Um, so I got these in 18. It says they're $49.95. Again, like I said, high 20s, low 30s for everything that I bought. Um, and they are just called the mom short. These are a size 18 and they are high rise. The last ones, I mentioned that they were the X which means that they are stretchy, like real stretchy. I think they have the X and then they have the 4X, and the 4X means that it stretches um, all four ways, so both horizontally and vertically. Um, I'm not sure what the X means. Does that just mean that it stretches like one direction? Either way, it's lovely, okay? If you need a, something that'll stretch on your body, like for me, especially with shorts, my shorts have to stretch. You know what? My denim has to stretch a lot too, just because of the shape of my body. Um, if it doesn't stretch a lot, then it's definitely not gonna fit my waist, my hips, butt, and thighs. It's definitely not gonna do that. Let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? So we kept on the cute shirt because it's worth showing with two pairs of shorts, ma'am. This comes in different colors. Did I mention that? It's freaking beautiful, it feels beautiful. I'm very excited about this. So um, same size, size 18 just like the ones I just showed you. The front, you can see, I'm <laughs> I'm hanging out a little bit, okay? <laughs> Got a little longhita that came to party, yes, okay? And um, this is extremely tight, like very difficult for me to put my hands into it. The interesting thing is that it's not tight at the bottom, like they almost, uh, imagine like bell bottoms but shorts, okay? So, yeah. Um, the back though, it becomes a bit of a mess. So we have um, a nice, nice big gap happening back here in this area. Um, this is the most unflattering pair of shorts. Let's zoom in. <laughs> yeah, let's zoom in. So this is the most unflattering pair of shorts um, that I have purchased from American Eagle ever. Like I said, loose up here, loose down here, loose here, extremely tight here, and this is my smallest section. So these would work for someone I think that is a little bit more, mm, I guess a little bit more narrow, like a little bit less uh, hippy. Like if your waist and your hips have a big difference in them, this is probably not gonna work as well for you. But if you have um, you know, similar measurements in those two areas, this might actually work if you get them in your proper size because you'll be able to fill out the top and hopefully, you know, if you fill out the top, like if this was actually filled, then it wouldn't look so bogus on my butt. Like, it looks bogus because the material's bunching up there, but um, definitely not my favorite. <laughs> Hi, I'm not even in frame, nobody said anything, thanks. Definitely not my favorite, in fact, I think these are my least favorite, and the other four or five pairs I have, well, you'll just have to wait and see. Next up, I have a couple of clearance pieces for you guys. American Eagle has amazing clearance, like it's always, really well priced for what you're getting. So these were 15 bucks. Um, they weren't having like a clearance sale, but a lot of times they do. And it's ridiculous how inexpensive you can get things. So <laughs> these are the AEO, AEO Twill X Midi Low Rise 18 Super Stretch Skin To Go. Um, they had a few different types. This one I grabbed, like I said, in 18. And again, it has that X kind of stretch in it. Um, and I had to get a pair of white ones because I recently bought a pair. In fact, you guys will see them in an upcoming video because I haven't featured them yet. Um, but they were, I don't know, just not quite right. It's hard to find white shorts. Like, it's hard to find white any kind of bottom, really. Um, I hear that that line with Gabby Fresh and Nicolette, what's it called? Prem? I hear that they have a really nice white bottom like white pants or whatever who said it garner i think i saw garner style um chastity i saw her talking about it i think on uh instagram and i was like oh i might have to try those out i haven't tried anything from their line actually so i guess if you guys are interested in that it's a little bit more expensive and you guys tend to kind of throw an uproar <laughs> when i feature things that are a little bit more pricey um so i tend to stay away from that but if you're interested in it by all means let me know and i will give it a shot so this top actually has a matching bottom and I bought both um, but they look awful together and I think it's because I got the top in a double XL and I'm not sure if they didn't have an XL or I just wasn't you know I was on the fence or whatever I I should have gotten an XL in this just because it's a little too loose on me but if I tuck it a little bit it's fine right like <laughs> so the top I think is really really cute and um, when you wear it with the shorts it's 
way too much, too many ruffles, too many things flowing. It's too much for me personally. But um, otherwise it's really, I mean, it's a really cute top for like 12 bucks or whatever. And it's got this sticker here that says 45 in case, in case you like that number. So the shorts though, uh, they do fit. They have a cuff on the bottom. Oh, are they fake? <gasps> They're fake cuffed. Yes, I love when, okay, not always, but I do love when they don't sew the cuff. Okay, so they look a little crazy because they were cuffed, but oh, I like them a hundred times more now because the cuffed, the cuffed denim, if I mentioned it to you guys before, when your shorts are cuffed and you have big thighs that actually rub together, that cuff, um, creates like added friction that causes your shorts to ride up. At least that's what happens to me all the time. It happens to my daughter. It, it's just, that's like a big thigh thing, okay? So um, if you don't have the cuff, it's even better because your shorts are more likely to stay in place. They have less friction causing them to move, which is lovely. So, oh, I'm so excited about these now, guys. Um, they are, you know, they're white, so you're gonna see belly line or whatever. I could definitely wear a different pair of underwear with this. I have a black bra on. Okay, I have a nude bra, but I have a black, um, hello cheeks. Okay, I have a black thong on, and I've never seen such, this looks like I have the biggest wedgie of my whole entire life right now. All right, not sure if that's the thong or the shorts. All right, the next shorts are the Tom Girl Bermudas. These again, size 18, I'm, they're all size 18, I believe. And this one says it sits low on the hip. It doesn't say anything about the stretch or whatever, but um, they have a little bit of stretch, but not nearly as much as like the X or whatever, um, or the super stretch or whatever. But they are very like loosey goosey. They, they feel like, um, like I've worn them for the last couple of days already, which is not something that I hate, let me tell you what. Because I love wearing my jeans on the first day when they're real nice and fitted, and I love wearing them on days two, three, four, and five, not in a row, but I don't wash my denim um, every single time that I wear it, because the fit changes the more you wear it, and I really enjoy that kind of looser feel, but not loose everywhere. So these are like, designed with that feel, obviously. They're like the Tom Girl one. Oh, hi, forgot to mention the shirt. Okay, so this is like a little uh, crop top thing. I do believe this was part of a matching set. American Eagle does really well with their cute little matching sets. They have a bunch, but uh, sometimes it's too much, like too much of one pattern, you know? So I have purchased them. I think I showed them to you guys at the end of like a different video or something, but this one's got this big bow thing in the back. Oh, what is it? it looks kind of crazy. Okay, I could probably retie that. It's really cute though, pretty inexpensive too with the sale, like it's under 20 bucks, which is not bad for a top. Um, and this I got in a size extra large, which is why it fits so nicely. I love it, I love it. Um, but they're shorts, right? These are the Bermudas, right? Because a town girl wouldn't be caught in booty shorts, apparently. These do sit kind of low on the waist. They don't hug my waist the way um, the stretchy ones do either. But as you can hopefully see, the gap, although it's there, it's, it's not that bad because it's not like, it's not gaping like the mom jean was. And my butt, I don't know, you tell me. I feel like my butt looks pretty good in this one too. That's like one of the main factors when it comes to shorts. It's like, how does it sit on my waist? How does my butt look? Does it have pockets? These have obviously have a bunch of pockets. But um, it feels pretty good. Considering it's not really stretchy, it's not tight on my legs or anything, so. I'm not mad at these. They're not necessarily my style, but I know some of you prefer Bermudas, so <laughs> I wanted to feature at least one. <sighs> the word super, super stretch really make me very happy. So these are the AEO Denim High Rise Shorties, size 18. Super, super stretch. These are some straight up booty shorts. These ones are actually cheaper than some of the other ones. These ones are originally 39.90 something, 95, 90 something. I don't know. Um, but I got them for 28 ish. Probably this was probably one of the $28 ones. They fit so nicely. Like they go on real nice. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for me, for shorts, I typically got to size up one. Um, one size at least. Sometimes, like if I'm shopping at Torrid, two sizes, because Torrid does not know how to do sizing. Like, have you ever tried to buy a Torrid swimsuit online? Yeah, add at least two whole sizes 
to anything that you're gonna buy that is meant to go in the water because they do not know what they're doing when it comes to that kind of sizing. But um, for shorts, pretty much generally across the board, I almost always size up to an 18. That being said, I did just buy some 16s from Charlotte Russe and those fit well, but that's because Charlotte Russe is a brand that runs big. But um, American Eagle, since it's straight size, they're gonna run a little bit on the smaller side. That's kind of just how it goes. Typically with um, denim, but with the tops and stuff, like I said, this is an XL, fits really nicely. So I wouldn't necessarily size up on their tops because they do, are, they are very generous on their tops sizing, but on their bottoms, as far as the denim goes, or anything linen or something that doesn't stretch, definitely pop up a size if you can. Um, so these are cute. Um, I wouldn't wear these two together either. It's just too much midriff. Like I like a higher bottom or a lower top, something like that. But uh, still very cute. These are pretty basic shorts. So if you're looking for a nice little basic, basic little shorts, um, these ones also are not sewn. So you can flip them down if you so choose. So you can make them a little bit longer. I do actually really enjoy the cuff in this one though. I think it makes them look kind of extra cute. These to me are the type of shorts just cause they're a little short. See, um, I got a lot of leg back here hanging out. These are a little bit on the, um, what does it look like the inside is wet? Like that's a great feature. It's not, I assure you, <laughs> but these are a little bit on the shorter side. So these are the type of shorts that you would see me wearing to the pool or the water park, to the beach, on a resort, something like that. Something where, you know, I can probably open them up. I can let them be a little bit longer. I might have a kimono on, like, cause this is very short for me uh, personally. Not that I'm necessarily uncomfortable with it. It's just, well, I'm just getting naked in front of you guys. <laughs> Forget you're here sometimes. It's just that, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm almost 30, I'm a mom of two kids, I like to cover up some of my body sometimes and the neighbors can see it and stuff, but when I'm on vacation or out and about, well then, you're gonna see a lot of upper thigh, honey. Speaking of which, do you guys know how nervous I am when parents tell me like, oh yeah, we saw you guys' stuff online, I'm never like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, did you see Nala and Jaden's channel? The vlog channel? Or this channel? The fact that you're bringing your child over and dropping them off makes me think perhaps you have not ventured into this channel yet, but I mean, not that there's anything wrong with me, guys. It's just people are very judgmental and they think that, I don't know, if you show somebody what a bra looks like online then you're a terrible parent or something. I don't know. I don't know. These shorts are um, the next level, low rise. They're the stretchy kind. They're again an 18. These are about the same length. No, they're not. These are a little bit longer than the last ones. These are about the same length as the other ones when I rolled them out. So again, these have a cuff and they are not sewn, so you can unroll them. Like, it's good to know that you have like an extra two inches to play with if you wanted it. And remember when it comes to darker denim, it's gonna fit you a little more snug than lighter denim. So somebody in the comments was arguing with me once like, well, that's just not true. Like, listen, okay, if science says that's not true, so be it. But like, I've purchased hundreds of articles of denim bottoms, right? Every single year. And let me tell you, dark denim runs smaller, tighter, more fitted. And that's normal. I think it's because of the dye or whatever. One of you guys will science it up down there for me and explain it to us. But um, anyway, dark denim does tend to run smaller. So if you're considering like, ooh, maybe I can get one of these. Maybe I should try this size, but oh, it might be a little snug. If it's gonna be maybe a little snug, try a lighter wash because those ones tend to have more stretch and a little bit more give to them. But I love a good dark denim. I love dark denim. So um, these fit really well, just pretty much like all the other ones, they have lots of stretch in them. Um, I'm pretty safe with stretch. As long as there's some good stretch in it, then I'm good. Got a nice little uh, booty popping happening here. A little bit of, you know, couple inches back there to cover the, the thigh, like so I'm not too mad at it. This little cutie up here, this is actually technically from Aerie. It is a bralette, obviously. And I have a bra on right now. <laughs> Last time I did this, you guys thought I was sh like flashing you. Like, first of all, where are my nipples, okay? Um, no, it's just a nude, it's just a nude bra from Torrid. Very cute, I love it. But um, this bralette is from Aerie, which is part of American Eagle. And in my American Eagle, they're together. Like they're in the same store, Aerie's just in the back or it's off to the side. Um, but there are like Aerie stores and American Eagle stores. They're not necessarily always together. But Aerie itself, for whatever reason, doesn't go up to the same sizes as American Eagle. So um, the biggest size you're gonna get, biggest size I've ever seen, is an XL. So this bralette is in an X. 
L and it's listed at like $29 or something but it was on clearance so I paid like $11. Um, but I got it because the back is so pretty and I didn't have this color blue yet. So, hi, shiny face. Normally I have makeup on to disguise this. Hi. Shiny, 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 shiny. All right, same spiel on this bralette. Same thing, just a different color. Um, again, it was on clearance, it was only $10. So these are those shorts that I was telling you guys match that other top. This is just here for fun, isn't it? Oh no, it does tighten. Somewhat, okay. Anyway, um, these are just so roughly. If you have a smaller bottom half and you like to kind of, you know, help create the illusion of like bigger hips, then something like this is just a plus for you guys because um, it's just layers and layers on top of what's actually there. So it just kind of creates that wider look for me. I don't know if I need to look any wider in that particular area, but I thought these were cute and they would be cute like a little, you know, maybe with like a swimsuit or something. They are a little bit on the shorter side, but they have like a lining, as you can see. It has like a full pink lining, and then it has this kind of just dangling on top. That makes me feel a little bit more secure. And even though this opens, again, there's a full line here. So, you know, I mean, don't wear like bright black. Bright black. Bright black. Is that even a thing? Don't wear bright black panties. <laughs> Don't wear black panties, okay? Wear whatever color, but um, overall fits pretty well. It's a little bit on the loose side. I got these in a double XL. Like I said, they were on clearance. American Eagle has great clearance. I love it. Um, <laughs> are you getting the same big top circus vibes that I am? This is like a new modern version with the mustard color. Oh, I love this color right now though, it looks so good. But this is another off the shoulder um, culotte, okay? Is that how you say it? Culottes? <laughs> culotte jumpsuit. Um, I got this in a double X. I'm too damn short for it, that's for sure. Can you even see the bottoms? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at her culotte. So these have pockets. Hi, American Eagle loves us. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks cute. Okay, it's cute, but it's not because it doesn't like I'm not the body that a Kula jumpsuit belongs on. I don't have it. It's not mine. It's someone else's. It's one of you guys probably, but it's definitely not me. They have so many jumpsuits and stuff that look just like this. Different tops maybe, um, different patterns and colors and stuff like that they're so cute i'm gonna go to american eagle today and i'm gonna see if i find this in a xl and see if it fits any better because it's not crazy tight but i am afraid that it's gonna be too tight on my legs because like this is loose and stuff right but there is a lining um underneath it once again and this does not stretch so whatever this is, I mean, that's what your level of like comfortability is gonna be when you're wearing it. So that's pretty fitted on me right now, not too fitted, but it feels like my size on the bottom and not my size on the top, unless I pull it all the way up, but then I have like camel toe at the center, like I have all the camel's toes, all four of them, got them all. Another romper, I love rompers, another romper. So this one, again, has that little roughly, roughly bottom on it, just like the first one that I showed you, which, like I said, meh, makes me feel like a child, but I can't be mad at the fact that it gives me a little bit more coverage here in the back. It's nice and loose and flowy. Again, it doesn't really stretch. Obviously, you can see uh, panties through it, so you'd want to wear a light-colored panty or maybe a full coverage panty, something that, you know, whatever you're most comfortable in. No panties, girl. I don't live your life. Do what you do. Um, this I got in a double XL. I also got the other one double XL. I don't know if I told you guys that. Pretty much everything was double XL. Um, and then the top has this big old ruffle on it, and I think it's cute. It's a little loose, so I was like, oh, maybe I can do like a off the shoulder with it, but then I don't love how this looks. I kind of wish I could do, oh, hold on. I was gonna say, I kind of wish I could do both off the shoulder, because like I said, it's a little loose on top. Is it supposed to be like this if I've been wearing it wrong? I like this better. Pockets for all of the things, snacks. You can keep Sour Patch Kids in here. You could keep deodorant, a panty liner. You could keep tasers or mace or handcuffs. I don't know what you're into. You could keep a phone. You keep your boyfriend's phone. I don't know if he's been going through things. You wanna go through his things to see what kind of things he's been into. This little romper, as cute as it is, has this little belt. It's actually like kind of functional, you know? I mean, it's not attached or anything. It's just a do what you want with it. So you can pull it up a little bit and make it tighter if you want to. 
it's definitely got a little bit of added space in here so if you got like big honking boobies honey you guys can i tell you what happened the other day when we were at target i think i didn't tell you guys so we're shopping for swimsuits um swimsuit haul from target coming soon uh shopping for swimsuits with my daughter she's seven adorable her name's nala i love her um and she's like gotta go pee so she's just trying to hurry up and get out of there right and i was like i gotta find the top mommy needs one more top to go with these these like black bottoms and she said oh, okay just get this one get this one and she points to it and she's like trying to give it to me and i'm like no 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 mommy's got too much boobies for that and she looks me dead in my face and she says you have three dude i was dying laughing there are all kinds of people there that day too we were there on the weekend girl i was busting up laughing like no i was cracking up I was like no girl i got three boobs get out of my face give me that top let's go go to the bathroom you little weirdo the stromper was 32 bucks so well, that's how much i paid for it at least so anyway that's all that i have for you guys so and you know this is the end of the video hi welcome to the end you made it um uh, my name is sarah ray vargas and uh i didn't forget to tell you to subscribe and Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and stuff. I forgot to tell you this stuff at the beginning, so I'm going to tell you now. I also have a vlog channel. It's great. It should have popped up right here if my editing skills are on point today. And, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're enjoying your summer. It's only 70 degrees today, so I'm about to put on some shorts, cute little tank, and go hit the road, honey. Stop off, get my coffee, go to the mall, get all hot and sweaty and bothered and annoyed at everybody that's there, and then come home and act like I didn't know there were going to be a bunch of people at the mall on a Saturday. So that's what my day's looking like. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. It should be Sunday when I upload it. And um, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see in particular, always just drop me a line, let me know. And like I said, do you want me to just stay home and film all these swimsuit videos this week since I'll be home anyway and I have the time to do it? Or should I wait and do them in the Dominican like because you want to see the palm tree in the back? It's not going to be much different. It's just going to be like sunnier there. Potentially worse audio. I don't know. But you let me know down in the comments. I always like you guys' feedback and I want to know what you want to know. All right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I'm going to smell you in my next one. Bye guys. Okay, like your honest thoughts. How do we feel about the brows though? They're like five days post surgery. Just JK, JK, JK. There was no surgery. But like, also look at my skin. My skin was like, girl, you can't wear makeup this week. <clears throat> we got you, girl. We got you. Thanks.